we are going to be working with three new colors. My first color here, this is my alcohol dye collection. And this one is espresso. I think we all need a good collection of browns. So I just wanted to show what this looks like in a dark and a light here. These behave very similar to alcohol inks, except for they're made out of a dye solution. So they work really, really well with resin products. But like with any um, alcohol inks, it's a good idea to seal them up before you do the next step. And I will be putting together um, alcohol dyes with micas in there, and those will be very important to seal up because you will have loose powders on the surface. All right, that one works out rather nicely. All right, I'm gonna swatch them out separately so you get to see the color. And this is a blue-violet color. It looks rather blue right now. There's some purples in there. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be sharing in the description uh, the recipe for those who want to mix up their own. But we'll be having a lot of products that have things in there that will be hard to do <laughs> the recipes like the mica powders is kind of hard to share the recipe for those and the metallics as well all right there's that and then I'm calling this one essence of gold because it'll do nice little sprinkles everywhere Going over the other colors just a little bit. We're going to have a variety of golds and some silvers as well. All right, you want to bring them in on that one so they can see closer? We need this other color. We need to do a dance around so they can see the shimmer of the gold. All right. So this piece that is here is already an epoxy board. However, I put UTC on the top of it, and this one happens to be the matte UTC, which is the ultimate top coat. And don't do this normally if you're gonna do this for a table. What you do is you wait for the ultimate top coat afterwards. I'm doing it in this aspect so that I can use this as a practice board and wipe it off every time. So <laughs> what I would recommend you do is you do your normal epoxy background to get a nice slick surface. Do your alcohol dyes on there, seal it up, do a flood coat, and then the ultimate top coat. So I just want to make sure that I, I repeat that in this process here so that nobody goes and accidentally does that kind of a situation. So I'm just going to flood this with some alcohol to allow the colors to move. Give my colors a good shake. And then just apply and start working on them and moving them around. Oops, <laughs> and throw them all over the place. Whoops. That's all right, it's just the ring of it, and this is a good time for that to happen. 
And you can build up these colors. You can make them go real delicate. It's just up to you. If you get some drops on there that want to start drying up too soon, just loosen them up. So as I usually say when I'm messing around with alcohol inks or dyes, that the uh, colors are very loose within the alcohol solution and when you apply air to it that all the color moves to one side or the other. So it's kind of like, you know, you're the sheep dog and you're moving the sheep around. So is that a, the, a, the pressure from the air moves it, the colors from one side to the other. You can go down below, uh, directly down or you can go from the side or you can even do indirect by doing it this way this is going to turn out pretty nicely already alright let's see I usually add a little bit of alcohol before I add any other color in and I'm going to add a little bit more of the gold here just to get it to move around and I just use a regular travel dryer it's nothing fancy and it has just the right amount of um, power to it that allows you to manipulate it rather rather easily Just See a Mikey dodging up and down. You trying to get the right light? A good angle. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do some color over here. A little bit of. I want to do something that's bold in one area, and then something that's a little bit softer in another, so that way it appeals to everybody. Now you can go in with a paintbrush on your edges and dab it with a little bit of alcohol to kind of clean them up or even allow your alcohol to drip off the edges to kind of activate and get your colors to move a little bit. I'm just going to soften this edge up a little bit by applying a little bit of alcohol and bringing the color in and out. Is this with regular heat or cooler? It has two settings, like a medium setting and a high setting. I have a tendency to use the medium setting, and then I use the distance with my dryer to help direct it. I kind of do the same thing with my heat gun when it comes to resin, where I am using the distance of my heat gun to uh, help me navigate the temperature. instead. Because I know there's some heat guns out there that also have uh, temperature settings too. Yeah, do I have a plan? Sometimes I do, sometimes I just go on the fly. This is one of those things that works a lot by feeling like, oh, it's a little bit too light or it's a little bit too dark. 
And if it's too dark, just dab it with um, a paper towel with some alcohol. And you can remove so that some of the color, add a little bit of alcohol, and then re-blend it back in. So it's easy, easy to fix. What do you think, Mikey? You think it needs anything else? It's looking good. I kind of like yeah. it. It's very simple. And yeah. Kind of on the elegant side. Now, I've got some heavy areas in here. Did you want to bring them in a little closer? Where there's an accumulation of dye right here. I'm going to get... Oh, we lost yes. we lost the light for a little bit. I think oh, we're no. back. Oh, we lost yes. we lost the light for a little bit. I think oh, we're no. back. Are we back? Uh oh. We are in the country. I am sorry. Sometimes that will happen. We are back. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna stop here. Wait a minute. What do you guys think? Here, let me bring them in. Will you hand it to me and I'll... There you go. All right. Excuse my grubby paws. Let's see. Let's do an overall. And then bring in... I Here I am tapping the screen trying to get it to focus like I would on a video. So that works out really pretty. I'm liking the gold. And here's just the bare hint of color and the little sprinkle of gold there. Okay. Focus. That looks really cool. I dig it. it looks awesome. Okay. So I'm going to do my ending for now, but hang on. You guys hang on for just a moment. Thanks for hanging out with me. Check out my website, clairelawrence.com. I'm going to have some different dyes available for you guys and some artwork. So.